Hello, in this video, we will see how we can access our Mac computer remotely from a Windows computer. Let's see how we can do that. At first, we have to open or come to our Mac machine so that we can configure something because we want to access this computer from Windows computer. At first, we need to click this Apple menu and this will bring us this type of menu. From here, we have to choose system settings. Once we choose system settings, then the system settings window will be appear. In the left side, we will find one menu. This is called general. We just need to click here and then right side, we will find couple of options are there. We are going to share our Mac computer desktop to a Windows machine, right? So definitely we need to go sharings option. So I'm going to click here sharing and then it will bring us this type of thing. Now, what do we want to share? We want to share the screen. That's why we have to choose this option. We can just make a click and then it will enable and it will ask us the password. We need to give our password for this computer or Mac. So I'm going to type the correct password. And once we type the correct password, then we have to click the modify settings. Once the password is correct, then it will be turned on. Now there is a small icon uh, here next to this button I. We just need to press it here and then it will bring us this type of window. Here we need to change one settings. So VNC viewers may control the screen with password. We just need to turn it on and it will be blue color and then we have to set a password. We can set a password, any strong password is fine, but I'm going to type the strong password, not a strong password, I'm going to type 127 like this for this computer. Because few minutes later, I will delete this thing because I don't need it anymore. And once we type the password, which will be a strong password, then you can press the done button to set the sharing thing for our remote computer, which is the Mac computer. Now we can close this thing, we don't need it anymore. Now we have to open the terminal. I'm going to open terminal by uh, Spotlight using Spotlight search and I'm going to access terminal. From here, we need to uh, check the IP address. We can check the IP address by typing the command, command ifconfig and here it will show us the IP address. From here, we can check the IP address one by one. So here I'm going to check, I'm making it bigger so that it will be useful for me. So here, this is the IP address, right? I'm going to copy this IP address. Now we are done for Mac. Now let's check whether we are able to access this Mac machine or not. So I'm going to jump the Windows machine. So this is my Windows machine and here we need to connect uh, that computer. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to open Ultra VNC viewer. You can use any other VNC viewer but I love Ultra VNC much more compared to other VNC. So just click here to open the Ultra VNC and here we need to type that IP address. So I just typed uh, 192.168.199 which is my IP address. And once you type the IP address, we need to choose direct and then there is a connect button. We just need to press this connect button and then it will bring this type of window. VNC viewer status for this IP address, right? And here it is like uh, the speed is something like that. So now we need to type the password. So we type the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, for that VNC viewer. And then I'm going to click on login. So once I click the login, then we'll see our machine is there. So this is my Mac computer from where basically we changed it. So I'm going to uh, go down and here I will see this is the main login page of my Mac machine. So I'm going to type the password here. Once I type the password, I can hit the enter key of my Windows computer and very shortly we'll see this is my Mac machine. I'm not going to change the resolution, you can change, but I'm going to show you that everything is working nice. So here, see all the Windows and uh, not Windows, Mac machine, everything is there. Now we can actually control our computer remotely from our Windows machine. And that's it guys, in this way we can easily uh, actually access our Mac computer from our Windows machine using this mechanism. Uh, you just need to change a couple of settings from the beginning. If you forget to know, if you forget basically what are the settings you need to change, you can, if you forget, you can uh, check the video again from the beginning and you can easily connect your Mac computer from your Windows machine. Thank you guys for watching the video. See you next.